welcome to the first episode of the Religion Bites podcast series. My name's Mallory Nye, and the aim of this podcast is to help you think a bit further about the issues of religion and culture in the contemporary world. I've been teaching religious studies for many years, and I've written several books about religion, including the book Religion the Basics, which has been on reading lists across the world for over a decade. I've also edited an international journal called Culture and Religion for over 15 years. I don't believe that religion is dead, nor do I write from the view that religion is the answer to all the problems of the world. I don't follow a particular religion and have no particular axe to grind about faith and religion. Religion continues to be very important to many people in the world in various ways. It's not likely to go away. So if we want to understand today's world, we need to get why people are religious, why they do religion in the many ways that religion is done. We can continue to complain about religion and religious people if we want. We can say it shouldn't be taken seriously. Or we could just try to understand what is going on and ask questions to inform ourselves about the world we live in. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing in this podcast series. So, who is the Religion Bites aimed at? Well, anyone. All you need is an open mind to think about things in ways you maybe haven't done before. Obviously, this podcast series could be of use to students at high school, college or university doing courses in religious studies, the study of religion, or perhaps culture and religion. I hope that some of the things I say will be of help to you in your studies. If they don't, then please let me know. But of course, learning is not only about school and classroom. We are all in the process of learning. Hopefully this site will appeal to learners and knowledge seekers of all ages, backgrounds and interests. What can you expect of this Religion Bites podcast series? Well, the study of religion is very wide, and I have a long, long list of potential topics that I plan to cover over the next months. Each podcast will be around 15 minutes long, may be shorter, such as this introduction. Sometimes I'll need a little bit more time, going up to 20 minutes, but the average, hopefully, will be somewhere around about 15 minutes. I'll start with definitions. How do scholars try to define religion? And is it worth the trouble? This will give a taste of some of the basic approaches to understanding religion, such as sociological, psychological and phenomenological approaches. Yeah, I'll explain some of those as we go along. My approach will then go into detail about what I mean by the study of religion and culture. Why study religion in this way, and what do we mean by culture? There are a wide range of answers to this, particularly if we delve into various things such as religion in culture, culture in religion, and religion and culture together. It can mean all these different things, different permutations. This will perhaps make more sense as we explore it further. Then, We can look at what's the relevance of religion in today's world. How do things such as globalisation, modernity, nationalism and the media impact on religion today? What's the relationship between religion and multiculturalism and diversity? How do we understand that? What about religion in popular culture? Is there such a thing as perhaps popular religion as we talk about pop culture? And what are the historical legacies of religion in today's world? I'll be talking about religion and ethnicity and race, religion and gender, religion and power, and so on. The list goes on, and I'm not sure yet exactly where this is all going to take me. So who am I? My name is Mallory Nye. I'm a British academic, as you can probably tell by the accent. I'm based in Perth, in Scotland. I've taught on religious studies programmes for many years, and I've written three books and a number of articles about religion and culture. I first published my introduction book, Religion the Basics, with Routledge in 2003. It's still in print, and it's used on reading lists in a number of countries, North America, Europe, Australia, and so on. And I'm currently revising it again for a third edition, due out sometime in the next year or so. I've also edited the international journal Culture and Religion, which comes out four times a year and I've done that since I founded it in the year 2000. The journal is a great place to learn about what contemporary thinkers about the topic of religion are saying about these issues. As I said at the beginning, 
I don't think religion is dead. Religious issues continue to have a great significance. Billions of people today live their lives with reference to religious ideas, teachings and practices. I don't consider myself a religious person. I was brought up as a child to be an atheist, albeit within the Episcopalian tradition of the Church of England. I went to a church school. I can sympathise in some ways with those who aren't religious and those who are. That's how it is. Sometimes a religion, that is, religious people, can be weird. But that's what humans often are. They are weird, strange, people are. I don't think religion itself is weird, particularly as for me, religion is not something else apart. It is simply what people do. So, why am I doing this? What do I hope to gain from doing it? At the moment, that book, Religion of the Basics, is going through quite a thorough revision and update. When I started doing it, this task seemed quite simple. The trouble is, the more I get into it, the more I want to say. And so, as part of that process, I decided to set up this podcast as a chance for me to do more, to say more about the wide topic around it, that I probably won't have the chance to do all of these things if I want to get that book to the publisher so it can get into print rather than just sitting around. In many ways, this podcast is setting up new ideas, which will partly go into that new book and partly will be developed with that new book and might not actually see the light of day or the light of print until the next edition, whenever that might be. Who knows? The field is constantly changing. New ideas help our study of religion to grow and develop in new ways, exciting ways. And I hope to reflect some of that as we go through this podcast series. I'll round off this introduction with just perhaps a small warning. As I will discuss in more detail in a later podcast, I have a problem with much of what goes on in religious studies, academic universities and so on, where they do the study of religion. Very often I find it is largely not about the study of religion, but the study of theology. People of faith, usually Christians, talking about faith, usually their own. Sometimes they talk to other people of faith, such as other Christians, Muslims, Jews, Hindus or others, about the differences of their respective faiths. Now that's fine, I've got no problem with that, but that isn't what I'm interested in. I like the study of religion and culture to be a bit more detached than that, something that you can get into even if you don't have faith, and even if perhaps you're quite boggled by those who do have faith. And when we get to that level, I feel that's when people start putting on what I call special gloves for the study of religion, as though you need to handle religion with care. Now, that's not what I'm interested in either. If you study other aspects of people's culture, things like politics, music, literature, economics, then you don't need to put on anything special to show respect. You just look at what is there, what people say, and what they do. So, that's what's going to happen here, looking at religion, in this Religion Bite series. No special treatment or anything, just plain old religion and culture, whatever that might mean in practice. I hope you enjoy this, so do keep tuned. And for more details, check out the website on malloryandi.com forward slash religion bites. That's one word. See you next time. <laughs>